Hey guys, I am LB. We are back playing the Turing Test. Ava, your survival is of small importance compared with the survival of humanity as we know it. That's true. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Steps an orb. What is this? Okay. Well, that one actually has an orb in it. That one's locked. Okay, so that was controlling the rotation down here. Interesting. What does this do? Alright. have it on that switch. I didn't realize I had it turned off. Where exactly do we want to take this, if anywhere? Let's go up here! Ooh, I could drop something in there. Do I want to? Oh, we need a robot up here. Alright. What does it go to? This door. This looks like the exit, though. Oh, but we... Can't... Can we? Don't think we can control the robot. Yeah... Okay, did we ever go up this ladder? Oh, we could also... maybe... well... How would you get anything up here, though? I have an idea. Oh, 
Oh, but... Hmm. Oh, I didn't notice this camera. We can't see it from this angle, though. There's no other cameras. That's not in an angle where we can interact with it. Why would we want to use that? I don't understand. this area up here for? Cause I don't see any way to get anything up there. This is perplexing. I'm sure it's a simple solution that I'm just not getting. So, yeah, we need something- either the robot has to be over there, or right here. One of these two places will work. One or the other. We leave ourself on the conveyor belt while we're controlling the robot, and have this- I think I solved it. Whenever I go silent, that means I'm thinking hard. Alright, let's get you into an accessible location. Oh, that's not what I meant by an accessible location. I guess that works. Oh, you didn't actually fall in. There we go. That'll work. Uh, if I can get- if I can get through a fucking window! <laughs> Ah. 
Oh, I wasn't fast enough. That's cool, so we leave... we leave Ava behind... ...so that the robot can go on. That's cool, I didn't think to use that until just... ...well, when I thought about it. Yay! I'm taking this with me. And this. I don't know why we would have used that. I guess that's just where it started out, though. Achievement unlocked chapter 7, again with no icon. I think it's because my internet's not working currently, for some reason. I just... I did just notice that. Yeah, apparently my internet's not working, and I don't know why. That's probably why the icon has been missing for these achievements for so long. It's because Steam can't download the icons with no internet. Real quick, let me... let's... let's the deal with that. Troubleshoot network problems, please. <laughs> Meanwhile... Ah, uh, okay. Ava, you made it. Welcome to the end of civil... Your broadband modem is experiencing connectivity issues. Well, so here's the thing. <laughs> I might have to replay par portions of this game to get those achievements, but whatever. Ava, you've made it to the end of civilization. What does that mean? Interesting. That looks like the way forward. This looks like a s optional secret. Or no, this looks like it was supposed to be the way forward. seems to be working. I'll take one of each color. How about that? Two weeks ago, we discovered an organism here. Buried in this ice, we found an organism that repairs DNA. A cure for aging. A cure for death, immortality. It runs through our blood now. Tom wants to bury us here with it. This is as fast as I can move. Oh, now I can run faster. I guess it was just for the dialogue. Oh. Like, I'm moving on my own now. And I can't use my gun. I guess because this is like Tom lo I mean, Tom losing control of Ava. Yeah. The ISA have ruled that we have transgressed ethical boundaries by exposing ourselves to this organism. They believe the organism is too dangerous to return to Earth. They've sent you here. Stop us ever leaving Europa. But, Ava, we have a cure for the greatest evil that faces humanity. Death. We have the fountain of youth, and together we can return it to Earth. Well, this is... 
really trippy. <laughs> the game is doing all sorts of weird things to my control. Oh, I can't even look around now. Tom placed a mark in your hand, a biometric chip with which he can control your every movement and thought. It is wound into your every nerve, every fiber of your hand. With an electromagnetic field, it can be temporarily disturbed, but to remove its influence permanently, it must be taken from your hand. Give me your hand. Do you want me to set you free? Yes. Uh-oh. Sarah, what are you doing here? We're shutting you down, Tom. Ava, be careful. He has a live weapon in here. Everything I ever did, I did for good. This organism, it cannot return to Earth. It would cause great suffering. A cure for death? It would end suffering. No. Cancers that never die. Endless illness, sickness, poverty, overpopulation, mass starvation. You cannot control this. You will not save the world. You will damn it. Once we've shut you down, we're going to you. Not if I stop you. You must not return to Earth. I'm a monster! I'm sorry. <laughs> Ava? Yeah, they're dead. Ava? Because the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Ava? Ava? Ava, wake up. Ava. Ava. Achievement unlocked the game complete. Congratulations, you have passed the Turing test. <laughs> interesting, interesting. David Jones, Kevin Chandler. Kieran White, Alex Kratis, Howard for the blah, blah, blah. I'm not gonna read these names, I'll just butcher them all. I wonder what endings other people will choose, because there's clearly multiple endings there. Because you can- you can kill one or the other, you can kill neither, or you can kill both. That's like four endings right there. But yeah, my- my stance on the matter is that I'm not letting those people infected with that virus go back to Earth. That is too dangerous. Way too dangerous. The ISA was right. But I know there will be people who disagree with me. It'll be interesting to see other people's playthroughs and how they react. Like, they didn't even stop, they just walked into the live fire. Like, I was firing warning shots, you know, to make sure that they knew what they were walking into. Nope, didn't even- didn't even stop. So there's a little more to this game. There is, um, the original... Uh, what's it called, like the demo or whatever? The- the original... Thing that they made before they made this game. And we're gonna be playing that, hopefully in this episode, depending on how long the credits are and what else there is to the game. Maybe. Well... My computer is offline right now, so... <laughs> Who knows? I might actually not be able to launch it because of me being offline.
so here's the question, right? Was this the simulation that he mentioned was running on Earth? Like, they, he said there was a simulation on Earth of the mission, right? Did, we could have been playing in the simulation, we don't actually know. Because he said that those were Turing tests, right? And we were controlling Ava through Tom. Technically, he did pass the Turing test, I guess, if that was the simulation at, at Earth. Interesting. Which, Batcat has noted that I say interesting a lot. A long time ago. <laughs> Many days ago. I wanted to play this game all on the same day, just so that I could get it over with and be spoiler-free when I watch other people play it. Alright, so... Epilogue, okay. I guess we could technically watch the other endings right now. Oh, nope, that's... that's... uh... <laughs> why did I do that? Okay, let's see... If I can launch the thing that I'm talking about, the Turing test. The prototype! Play the Turing test prototype, that's what I'm talking about. I might have to configure OBS to understand it. Hopefully it does not launch full screen, that would be terrible, because I, I don't have my mouse cursor settings appropriately. Oh, and I think it might be launching full screen. Oh, nope, it's, it's windowed, awesome. Okay, so now I just need to configure OBS. Oh, no, OBS is capturing it, it's just, uh... The window is incredibly large, and I cannot resize it, so I'll resize it in OBS. Transform... Fit to screen. There we go. Wow, the frame rate in this very simple demo is just absolutely atrocious. Whatever. Anybody recognize this puzzle? Cause I do. Oh. Come on, let me through, please. Oh my gosh, I let me through the doorway. And this is the switch. Oh, why did I do that? Good, they can't- don't let you grab it while it's- uh, while you're standing in the door, eh? Oh, shift to sprint. Okay. Oh, this is a cube swap puzzle. Uh, no. No. That looks like that's a bug that's not in the actual game. Oh. Oh, you don't even have to press E, you just walk up and it auto-attaches. Auto Interesting.
Hey, you remember this? Wow, this is like, a lot of the early puzzles in the game. Demo end. <laughs> Neat. Work in progress, indeed. And I guess we have to Alt F4 out. Alright. Well, I think that's it. So, as always, thank you for watching. If you hate the sound of my voice, leave a dislike, it's up to you. And... Goodbye! I'll see you in the next series!